got a Knight Rider car, you're cool. I consider myself one of the biggest, if not the biggest fan. I gotta build that car. I often wonder what I would be doing if it wasn't for Knight Rider. myself one of the biggest if not the biggest fans he's obsessed with the night rider car when he saw that cool car he was hooked hope this nose is in good shape i'm rob lewis off from mount pleasant michigan and together with my sons we make night rider replica cars night rider premiered on september 26 1982 on nbc night rider ran for four years the main characters on night rider are michael knight <laughs> It is a talking car. I'm a car, not a plane. Michael Knight was a uh, detective that had been shot in the face, and his face was reconstructed. And he was given Kit as a tool to fight uh, criminals. What was special about Kit was it had a molecular bonded shell that crashed through buildings. You rang Michael. Well, I'm a car guy, first and foremost, and I've spent 20 years trying to figure out what the attraction of Knight Rider is, and it's primarily the car. The fascination with me is because it's a crime-fighting car, and probably because I was in the probation business for 20 years, and people who are in criminal justice like some advantage over criminals, and the car was definitely an advantage. Driving around with a Knight Rider car and uh, going to people's houses that were on probation doing home visits was instant rapport because you pull in and everybody then knew what Knight Rider was. They recognized the car. They'd come out and they'd say, oh, you got a Knight Rider car. You're, you're cool. Dave and I used to sit on the couch and eat Doritos and watch Knight Rider. He called it Knight Ridey Doe. And I told my wife, I said, I got to build that car. My wife has really supported me over the years as far as my interest in Knight Rider. At that point in our lives, building a car seemed to be a little bit uh, out of our realm financially. So that was my only real big objection to it was, oh my goodness, we have two little kids who really can't be out building cars. And his response was, well, I have to do it now while the kids are little, otherwise they won't fit in the back seat. We can't go any place as a family in it. We had a lot of fun going places in the Knight Rider car in those days. The show was still on. It was a lot of fun to go to drive through restaurants. The high school kids working in most of those places would practically fall out the window to see what was inside. I think people are overwhelmed with all the lights and the buttons and the LEDs. You're five? Well, right now you can fit in the car. Yeah, you know, the sizes you are. It makes me feel quite finish. proud with the work that we do. We had a lot of fun with that car. I'm Rob Lewis L of Lewis L Enterprises, and we're well known for our car customizing. It is rather remarkable, isn't it? I'm happy to announce that we've just doubled the size of our shop, and we're open for a full range of fiberglass repair services. So check out my website at roblewisl.com. Lewis L Enterprises is located in Mount Pleasant, Michigan. We make Knight Rider replica cars. We do all the fiberglass that goes into them. We do the body work, so we do all the restoration. And we put all the electronic components in the fiberglass. And we just bring everything together for the product that we have. Kit was a Trans Am, a 1982 Trans Am that was converted to uh, the Knight Industries 2000. Okay, this is the nose you guys made, one of your first ones, Perfect. all alone, without daddy to help you. Yeah. My dad taught me body work. And I always thought it was important to learn your dad's trade. I just hit it. Hit just it. hit it? Yeah. Watch. You do it. And now I'm teaching my boys fiberglass and body work. Here we go. Yeah. So we're carrying two generations now down to the third generation. Take one of those bolts that uh, holds the mold together. In 1986, I bought my first Trans Am. So I decided to get a Trans Am because I wanted to make a Knight Rider replica. There was a company that made Knight Rider noses and scanners and I bought that 
put it on the car, painted the car black because it was red, and drove it around. And people would look inside and say, well, that's not Kit because that has a regular dash. So I decided to make one. This was made in 1987. This was my uh, first dash. I tried everything to make the dash. And finally, I settled with uh, fiberglass with a lot of body filler. The first dash kind of upgraded from that. I found other people to do the things that I couldn't do, so we could bring it all together. And it just started to snowball. I was spending all my free time, weekends, holidays, making this stuff, and the kids were in the house. Is this a new Gullwing steering wheel? Yeah, the new one, the high definition. Yeah, yeah, the only complaint that my wife had was, you know, the boys are growing up in the house while you're out there making that Night Rider stuff. But, you know, now they're helping me make it. Well, when he wanted to quit his day job financially, it seemed a little scary, but we sat down and looked at the papers and said, well, you know, it might be tough, but we can make this work. And if, if the lifestyle is better, then, you know, money's not everything. It wasn't all that difficult to make this a full-time business because we started getting a lot of business coming in. I hired Dave about two and a half years ago. Dan about a year and a half ago. And we just outgrew the, the little garage and decided to make the commitment to build a bigger shop. The business seems to be booming. Uh, there's a lot of reinvestment in it, as you can see from uh, the facilities around you, but uh, I think the future looks good. Hey! Hi, family. <laughs> the late Dan Lewis out. How All right. You? Did I miss breakfast? Anybody that wants to follow their dream, I think they should do it. I think they should do what their passion calls them. Just go for it. of Lewis L. Enterprises. And we operate the only full-service fiberglass repair shop in Central Michigan. We're known for our car customizing, but we can fix anything from most RVs. So contact us at Lewis L. Enterprises at 989-330-3551. It's important to me that the client and the customer is happy with what they get from us. That's number one. You can't ask for you know better company and better guys to have doing the work on your car. These people have grown up with Knight Rider, and Knight Rider has an emotional pull to them. They have an emotional attachment to the car. Kit uh, offers unrequited loyalty to the person and honesty. That's one thing that you can count on is Kit is going to be there for you. Yeah, these people have grown up with that idea, and they have certain expectations. And we try to meet them. Yeah. Did you know this guy sent us a flamethrower to install in the new car? Yeah. Kit didn't have a flamethrower. I mean, it's yeah, not... I did. What? Didn't you ever watch the show? I'm the only you licensed entity for uh, selling Knight Rider replicas. We get orders through the internet. We also get phone calls of people that are interested in our parts. We have a website. There are various chat sites. We are known throughout most of Europe. We get contacts from Italy. I even uh, got a contact from a guy in Russia. I paid thousands and thousands of dollars for the license. You could probably buy a really nice car for the same price. I thought about it for a long time. I, I probably thought about it and agonized over it for eight months. And I thought, well... At this time of my life, if I'm going to get back into Knight Rider, I'm going to push it all the way. Did you pay them to you? No, I think you did. Oh, okay, that's perfect. We're working on, I think, about six cars right now. We have a convertible. Uh, we have a 97. We have uh, three or four fourth-generation Firebirds. They're in various stages from being stripped down to uh, being ready to put dashes in. I've learned a lot working with my dad. And always twist the bolt counterclockwise to take it off. It's too early for this, Dave. Yeah, and we make the piece, and then we sand it, we prime it, we install the electronics. It's like here's something before that was just fiberglass mat and resin, and then we turned it into something that people are going to love and cherish. I can't wait to see this thing all together. This has been what, four years in the making, and to be able to drive this thing down the street with all of the bells and whistles and lights and do jobs. It gives me a lot of pride and a lot of satisfaction when we can step back and look at the car and say, you know, the three of us did this.
We're going to have an open house from uh, 2 to 5, and we've invited the community to come out and see our new shop and to see the Night Rider cars. We're going to have a couple on display. So we're looking forward to that. Okay, quit screwing around. we got to get ready for the open house. You started it. I'd like to uh, welcome everybody to Lewis L. Prizes. We're having an open house today. There are a lot of people in this area that hear that we make Knight Rider replicas, and they've never seen them. I'm the voice of Knight Industry 2000's microprocessor, K-I-T-T for easy reference. Knight Rider replicas So I think there are a few skeptics around here. We just finished the new shop, and we wanted to invite people to come in and see a Knight Rider car. It was really nice to see Dad and Grandpa showing off their skills to people and, and Dad introducing Grandpa. And This is my dad right here. He taught me body work. If it wasn't for him, we wouldn't be here. Giving him the benefit that for teaching Dad to do um, body work. It was nice to see both of them together and uh, just basking in it. I often wonder what I would be doing if it wasn't for Night Rider. I love working with my hands and making these uh, replica cars has given me a good excuse to uh, learn how to prototype, how to design dashes, how to mold fiberglass. I didn't know how to do that. I had to figure that out on my own. And I've just been able to do things and learn how to do things that I otherwise wouldn't. It's kind of living a dream now because, you know, looking back, the first time I saw Knight Rider and saying, I want to build that car. And now I see what we're able to do, what we're able to put together. Yeah, it surprises me. I'm kind of blown away by it. News from around the world with a twist. It is an Irish fairy tale come true for the people of Mobile, Alabama. It looks like a leprechaun to me. All I got to do is look up in the tree. Who else in the leprechaun? Say yeah! That news show tomorrow in TV Tropolis.